Well, it's still June, so it's time to jump straight back in to part two of this server update tour. So we're going to carry on by looking at a few things over in Whiteberg again, and then it's off to Europa to see what's been happening over there. Right, so this is the really nice thing about the server update tours now and how everything's growing and becoming quite big. We can start traveling back to locations we've already been to in the past and see what else has been added there over time. So currently we're back at Hearst Castle just south of Wolhampton, as you know from the maps many a time. And today what I'm going to be showing you first of all on part two of this tour is a ship that's been built by Lord Goblin. Not this one, this is the sister ship to the PS Solent, this is the PS Cowshot out here just taking people across to White Sea Island where we were in the last uh, episode. So I'm going to carry on over this way from Hearst Castle towards what is just a large beauty and I'm going to change the time quickly just so we can see this. And ain't she a beauty? Oh god. So this is the HMS Duke of Edinburgh, the largest ship in our fleet, the most powerful ship in our fleet. And by fleet, I mean fleet. Let me show you the fleet in a second, but let's go take a look at this absolute bad boy. So it's based on an early Dreadnought class uh, of battleships, which were built in around about 1910 in real life. Uh, but what was really cool is during that time period, they were used as aircraft carriers. No, no, no. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. You can see there's, a, there's an aircraft up here. And it's just chilling with someone on the wings. Okay, they're not looking at me. <laughs> uh, there's quite a few people in this aircraft. Um, anyway, so it, what happens is um, they get launched off of these little uh, catapults. So I'm not sure entirely how it works because it looks very precarious. But if you were in that sh in that aircraft, you would just be you'd be bricking it constantly. Um, but it's amazing, isn't it? I didn't know this actually existed, but it turns out it's it's true. So there's one on the front. And there's also one more on the back. You can see here an aircraft ready to go. Now this is a really cool little looking aircraft. I love how you've done the colours on the back there, Goblin. Really nice little detail there with the walls. But the ship itself is an absolute beaut. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Uh, I'm I'm no person for building ships, but I've really got into the sort of style now after building those little paddle steamers. But what's quite cool, I haven't noticed before on any of the other ships, is this one's anchored. Does it have an anchor all the way down? It does not. But what it does have, if, if you can see through the murky shaders, is the fact that the underside has been painted in Whiteberg blue as to give it a different sort of look for when those torpedoes are coming that way from the U-boats. So Goblin, great stuff indeed. I'm going to quickly show off the entirety of the fleet. So I wasn't lying when I said Whiteberg's got some uh, military might now. Look at them, there's five more ships here sitting in the unloaded chunks behind me. But as we walk backwards amongst these battle cruisers, just look at them, they are beautiful. Majestic, sitting out here, scaring off the Europeans. Ah, great stuff, Goblin. Thank you for building them, and just thank you. I mean, you are the first Admiral of the fleet, so it sort of comes with the title. So it's time now to go on over to the United Colonies and see their first proper town springing up. Let's go to San Alexandro. So welcome to San Alexandro, the town built by our newest builder, uh, Burgoff, who has joined us recently, but he has been part of the community for the best part of a year, I believe. So welcome finally onto the server. I can't wait to walk around your San Francisco, West Coast America, sort of California inspired town. And already just standing in this park, I'm in love with it. Now, a lot of you probably don't know, but back in the early days of me playing Minecraft, I used to love building American towns and stuff because it was cool, it was different. But now I've obviously gone over to building my English towns. So coming here, it's given me a really nostalgic hit and just a really nice feel about the place. These little trolley cars are, are just great. They're, they're proper small, compact, you can jump on, jump off. Uh, I like the way you've got the rails done down the middle here. So this would be like a cable that would pull the carts along rather than being powered. Uh, you find that in a lot of cities anyway, especially those that have big hills such as San Francisco. So let's carry on walking down the street here and just see some of these buildings. Magnificent. So I think this one here is the fire station. Now I'm not sure there's any uh, actual firefighters in it, but what was quite nice is this tower. It's got an even Italianate style to it. I like that one, Bergdorf. That is, um, that's great, that one. Uh, but there's a lot of other little random buildings you put around as well, because I can see you've got a lot of planning. Is planning up in the air? <laughs> can, can we stand under here? So I can see that uh, I can see that planning is up in the air. Uh, this that was no 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 no, not at all. But yeah, so this is looking great. The small little houses you've got going on here, these sort of Second Empire, even Queen Anne style ones, are impressive. Palm trees, I like it. 
So if we come around the back here, you've done all these gardens out looking pretty, looking nice. There's... is that a tractor? Interesting. Okay, it's like a steam engine there. Uh, cool little trees, and then you've got the power lines going through the trees. That's a good little touch. Chains made this so much better to do in the game. Before it used to be um, the iron fences like this, which do work still, but they're all right. There is another tractor here. How did this get in here? How, how do you... Oh, this is cool. So guys, I hope you're taking a lot of inspiration from here for your sort of West Coast American houses, because there is so much going on. Incredible stuff. So I can't wait to come back here next month and see what's happening. Now, this is something I wasn't expecting. When I came up here for my sort of test run, I didn't see this place, but this looks just like you expect. Um, that sort of, you got built up town and then instantly you're in the sort of wilderness. Now, when you see like where uh, Los Angeles and that grow up, it was just like they sold off plots, but then there was like, you know, houses next door to Wasteland. It's impressive. Uh, lovely little craftsman's through here, and I've, it's all just growing up really nicely, and you've got a nice big Second Empire house out there in the distance. So Bogdorf, welcome to the team. I can't wait to see what you bring to it over the next coming months. This place is growing up magnificently. So that does it for anything related to Whiteberg. I think it's time now to jump on over to Europa and see something that Limbo and Ozzy has been building. Right, so we're just outside of Bresnis on the Isle of Lake Bled. And this place is a lovely little creation by Ozzy and Limbo, who were building it just, I think, for the competition we did for a while ago for Forts, but it never, never came out through there. Um, look at this place. It's already just an incredible sort of feat of... That's a really steep hill. So I've arrived here by boat and there's just some people sitting around fishing. It's apparently quite a popular holiday destination uh, for people from the mainland. And there's a lot of little Easter eggs hidden around. So we're going to have a little wander about the place and see what we can find. But let's wander up these stairs now and go take a look at the church on top of the hill. So Limbo and Ozzy are just two great builders anyway. They know what they're doing with all sorts of random stuff and things. By stuff and things, I mean things just like debug sticks and random little details. So here we are at this very nice sort of check looking church. Ah, oh, that's great, isn't it? You've done the roof really well. The, the detail in there is great. Blackstone works lovely. And you've got the spikes going on here with the iron and a bit of the fences as well. Uh, going on up to the top, we've got... Ooh, a really nicely done pumpkin. I keep saying pumpkin. I want to say pineapple. There's going to be a new secret society soon with pumpkins in the reins. And you've got a bell in there. Hey, that's good. Uh, what else is going on around here? Then we've got a couple of statues lying around the place. Can we get... Oh, we can get around the back. Oh, is that just a tower that's not attached to a church? Oh, okay. You can fly up there. You can just get the bell tower going. There seems to be something inside here, actually. Show... Can I go on it? Oh. Oh. I think I've just interrupted a... Hey, hang on. This is... This is the CDP, isn't it? So, um... So guys, if, you, if you're not part of the CDP, make sure to sign up today over at our website at www.cdp dot wbc builds dot 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 w so that's i'm not going to repeat that because i have no idea what i just said but yes make sure you sign up the cdp today and you can join in 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 in, in this they're all nodding in agreement they're all part of members you guys are all members now good good yeah right cool <laughs> let me leave this place all eyes on the back of my head right well that's a lovely little interior there for a church uh, that's, that's great. So what's down the back here then? Oh, is that someone standing down there fishing away? What I like is just the different vistas you have around here and walking about the place really does help with that. Rather than being a sort of whistle stop tour by flying around, it's just nice to walk. It's nice just to be and feel and look out and gaze. I'm going to, I'm going to stand here and just wrap my arm around this guy and just look out and, and gaze into the sea. Ah, beautiful. Right, well, let's leave him to being just Steve staring out at that. Uh, let's see what else is around this place. I haven't found any more Easter eggs just yet. Oh, there is no. Is there? Is there been a? Has there been another murder? There's been a murder, part two. This time it wasn't Doctor Who, was it? Uh, so where are you? Where are you leading me off to? What's? Is this my death? Is this another cult? Oh, okay. I'm, we're getting followed up from behind. This is a pretty cool little thing. There's like a small little trapdoor up there letting some light in. 
So who's, whose cult's this? Uh, I'm going to claim it for the CDP, actually. Let's put down a bit of sponge and make this into a shrine for the pumpkin. So the pineapple shrine is going in here. Yeah, this has been claimed for the CDP, so guys, yeah, leave it alone. Right, well, we're back outside from the, uh, the strange little cave we just found ourselves in, wandering around this side here, and I could spend all day up here. I love how relaxing this has become. Rather than me doing my normal fly around, this is me doing a, a nice little run around. No, I'm not trying to stall for time. You're trying to stall for time. Right, well, I think that's probably everything we've got to see here. This is just, I can walk down here all day. Oh, honestly, right. Um, let's get over here because there's some actual stuff we need to go see in Bresney's. Right, I just want a quick look actually around this side of the island because I didn't, I didn't see anything around here. Uh, there's just a few little more details. Another building behind that tree. Um, ooh. Oh, yeah, that old lead round to here. Oh, there's a little place here. I'm really interested about who's been killed where and why is there blood everywhere. And oh my god. Okay, so this is an, an actual shrine to the pineapples. Um, again, the CDP are just everywhere and they're making things happen day by day. You know how it goes. You lose a few people today, you, you gain some power tomorrow. Let's go over to Brennis and, and leave this murder island alone. I'll see you guys over there. Okay, so you're finding me out here in front of Brennis Church, uh, which we've actually been to in some previous episodes back in the day, back on the old server actually. So Limbo has moved it across here as he's done with a few of his other things and just brought it into a nice part of town. So anyone that's familiar with the map of Bresnys from previous episodes, down here is the spawn. Over here is where we just were for Lake Bled. And now we have the church over here in some very nice grounds. So let's take a little wander around the place and see what's happening around here. Really peaceful. I can hear the birds chirping, although that is actually outside my window, so I apologise if you guys can hear any birds chirping. They seem to just get in all my audio replayings. And here is the lovely looking church. Oh, it's such a grand feature. I like it because it's a different colour. You know, everyone usually makes their churches out of sandstone. This one's gone for a much darker sandstone, a much deeper colour, and it's got that real nice European feel to it with the copper roofs. Now, this obviously isn't copper yet, but maybe, maybe we can upgrade it to copper once we go on over to 1.17, which will happen at some point. I know you guys like to ask those questions, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit down over here and, and help answer these things for a second. So when it comes to upgrading the server, it's relatively painless as long as everything is there available for us to do. Now, when we changed over to 1.16, um, things happened. It actually killed our world. So I'm hoping, because there isn't much generation involved yet... 1.17 should be fine. I'm I'm too scared to try it just yet, but we will wait. I think another week or two at least uh, from the time of posting this video before I make a decision on whether everything's ready to go. Anyway, that was a nice little moment there we had we shared in in the bandstand. It's time to wander around the park again a bit more. I like these. So your usage of these little bo uh, berry bushes, which we have in our texture pack kind of changes up slightly uh, are really nice and then the patterning on the floor is great um, everything's just great like limbo you you know you're good <laughs> we know you're good everything's just good oh that's oh that's really pretty that's yeah i love this right well what else is there to see in Bresnys? so we have the train station to go see after we look at the statue here oh very nice right let's go try and find this train station i'll meet you guys over there right so we found it. Oh my god. Sorry if anyone's religious. Oh my gosh, if you're not. Um, this, this place is... I have no words anymore. Can we just mumble things slightly sound like they're words just to show how much I love this? The bone block is great. The shape is amazing. The clock is incredible. Everything just works, doesn't it? Take some inspiration away from this one, guys. It is just perfect. As European train stations go, this feels very much in line with that. I like what's going on out here with the plaza at the front. And the fact that this train station as well is actually quite far away from town makes it feel like it's a bit more realistic because you, you would kind of have large train stations like this outside of ancient towns, which I believe is what Bresnys is. Let's take a little wander inside. Uh, I mean, is this a door? It is now. Uh, we've got some beautiful chandeliers going on. A great use of uh, glazed terracotta there. And is is that dirt? Have you have you used dirt? Wow. Okay. I mean that's um that's incredible. 
great, great use of dirt. And I can see a bit of granite over there as well for the details. Hey, that's really good. Uh, let's take a little wander into the platform edge and see what's going on here. Some really nice canopies over these train uh, sheds. Uh, nice little fountain going on there. And then we have the clocks. Oh my god. I need to use these. This is a great idea for a clock. Ah, so this stuff is incredible. I like what you've done with the walls over here as well. You've got that strip of diorite going through, which gives it that nice bit of texture, gives it a nice, even like it's being painted for someone's livery on their trains. And then you've got the trains leading off out this way into quite a large train yard. So this place is definitely some sort of a proper big infrastructure hub. Loads of stuff going on there. And then there's a signal box, quite a large signal box. That's nice. I like the striping on there. The use of warped wood is always good. A uh, little, little thing at the back there, like machinery. Hey, Limbo. Incredible stuff again. You never fail to impress me. You never fail to impress anyone on here. So, incredible, incredible stuff. Let's take one last gaze at it. So, it's now time to go take a look at what Hotkey's been doing over in Pelham. So let's have a look. I believe he's built himself a cathedral. So we're back here in Pelham looking at Hockey's amazing Swedish city. So today I'm going to be showing you guys this here. This is a lovely cathedral uh, built by the sort of medieval times, but it's been upgraded over the years and it's now got a nice Baroque face to it. And yes, it does have a very nice Baroque face to it. Almost looks like, I don't know, it just looks really cool. So I think this is down by where the Royal Palace was previously. Yeah, this is where this is. Let's just say up here. Uh, okay, it just says some stuff in, in Swedish that I can't read. And here are some Swedish guards who are clearly just wob in, in, in dress up. Let's have a look at this place. I can already see the gradients are looking really nice. Uh, the way you've gone from that sort of slightly reddish color at the base there, up through some oranges, all the way up here to the roof. And this is really cool. So not only have you put in sort of like fading of the copper where it's turned black, but you've also put in some new sections of roof well, they've obviously gone through and repaired one section and gone, yeah, that's fine. We'll leave it at that. Uh, but the whole building is beautiful. The cross is nice at the end there. Yeah, it's a good good size cross for this type of building. And the blue face clock, of course, always a feature on these types of churches. The background here is nice. It's even got that Palladian style to it, which I love. Uh, and then we've got, what's this over here? Oh, this is still part of the Royal Palace. This is like the back entrance to it. I like this because you've put this up in like a sort of nice regal square. Uh, we've got some other little courtyards around the back here, some larger buildings. But let's take a look around here at the front of this one, uh, if, if shaders will let me see it. But yeah, that's really nice hockey. Lovely details up here with the spikes, and it's another good view across the city. Because obviously you've got the other large cathedral over there, it might even be a church. Uh, it's, it's just great being back here again, seeing what's happening. You have definitely carried on building in these diagonals and building a lot. So that is probably what concludes this part of the tour round here. I think Duncan has some stuff for us to go see over in Hoggerdam quickly. So let's go have a look at that, although I may be burning it down. Okay, so our final stop on the tour today is back in the mean streets of Hoggerdam. And I'm looking over at some buildings that have been decorated for some of our White Bergens. So the guys you see wandering around on these tours, they're esteemed members of our community. And we like to do things for them, such as build them interiors for shops. It's just a shame that Duncan has chosen the wrong religion to follow, sorry, the wrong secret society to be part of, and he's gone and built a frog shop, or a tailor's for the frogs, and I've come over here with my pitchfork and also my torch, and I'm going to burn this place down to the ground. No, of course I'm not, I'm not that mean. Oh, what's... cookies? Uh, no, that's a bit of a rip-off, that one. P uh, pineapples yeah go on then go on let's have a look inside see what's going on here before i violently vomit on the floor uh, <laughs> now this is really nice really nicely detailed love the use of the glazed terracotta on the floor it's just a damn shame that you've got some frogs up there no this is nice little touch duncan and it's a really good way to honor the community members i think i'll definitely be doing something of the same in whiteburg uh, mainly in Wolhampton once we get some uh, streets and full of buildings and, and roads and that uh, there are roads but there was one other shop i wanted to show you guys as well and that is the comic book shop although i'm not entirely sure where that one is right so i found the final shop along the tour here this is the comic shop that's been built for matty and yeah this is again a nice little bit of detail inside here the comic maker shop it's quite a nice little fireplace there uh interesting use of of all sorts of woods around here I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys go upstairs first, so I'm not crowding the staircase. 
There we go. Let's wander on up here, see what's upstairs. Yeah, nice little house, nice little place. Quite small, quite snug. Uh, this is a nice little, nice little touch, Duncan. Thank you for doing this for the community. Uh, I know that Lan Wan and a few others have done it as well for other members, so we'll show those off at some other point. But there we go, guys. So this has been June's edition of the Server Update Tour. Lots to see, lots to do, and we're always, always growing. So as you know, we like to take memberships for people that come onto our Discord. Um, so if you come on over, I believe our applications are going to be opening up again soon. So if you build in this style and wish to be part of the server, then please contact one of our admins or moderators and see how you go about doing that. Uh, but as always, guys, remember, get inspired, get building, and I'll see you next time.